Welcome back to Aldis Readings 5D. Grab a cup of sit back and relax. All the information for bookings is at the end of this video. I'm a beautiful Sagittarius. We are here to do your monthly update for your zodiac sign and we do join you throughout the month to cover the twin flame path if you wish to join us. Now we are going to go into both singles, couples and those of you on the fence and then into the other areas of your life to help you navigate February 2022. Now, yes, pretty much from last year to now, we have had quite a hectic transit and especially for your zodiac sign. And some of you are probably thinking, hey, you know, when is this ever going to get better? And I would say in the month of February, you can feel more energized. You can start coming back to some equilibrium of the sense of self. And, and your cards are really showing at the moment. And especially psychically what I'm seeing, it's, it's this frustrating point. I do feel what you're walking away from at the moment is you know trying to get your stress levels down trying to get to this space that you can learn something from the past but also directly apply it in a new fashion now i do feel moving into the beginning of the month with the new moon in aquarius it's going to be quite positive and some of you could be getting some good news others of you it could be relating to um, transport information um, really having those deep and meaningful conversations with your nearest and dearest and, and making some major decisions now always with the new moon you know we tend to think wow you know this is going to be lovely but it's the intent we still will be in mercury retrograde till about the fourth so you know if you do need to make any major decisions wait for the dust to settle and really know that this can be a very exciting time a you're going to be able to sleep a little bit better you will be able to have a lot more energy and you'll get back to that Jupiter notion that is very much your zodiac sign. I do feel at the moment you are being quite strict on yourself and it can feel as though that inner critique is really coming through in a very, um, I'll say, it, obnoxious fashion. It's like, you know, we're being a bit mean to ourselves. Let's put it that way. So if you are feeling at the moment... Um, you know that you've got to level up, you've got to do X, Y and Z. Try, try and take a breather and just take a moment. It may not initially feel natural, some of the things that you're having to deal with. And some of you it could be home related dynamics that are coming up, but also other things on the external. Now we're going to get into singles first and we'll backtrack into the crowning energies of what is coming through. And we'll interpret it for singles, couples and those of you on the fence. Now... I, I do feel for some of you that are single, you know, you've some of you have been thinking about people of the past and some of you are really thinking about, you know, what, what that's going to look like moving forward. We did have um, Venus retrograde from 2021 all the way into 2022 and most of us are still recovering from that. So if you were doing a little bit of what we call in the spiritual community, shadow work, it is, it is pretty normal, okay? So you're thinking about it. Some of you could be nostalgic of the past. That can be, you know, how things were going. And if you were directly betrayed or felt that you were really let down, these things can be coming up for you to reflect on. But I do feel if you had a choice between a left or right, it could be nagging at you. And again, you could be looking at that situation and saying, hey, um, there is almost like, do I, don't I commit? And I, and I do feel your zodiac does have great commitment energies this year and definitely better luck um, than it has had to late. But from a standpoint, some of you may feel that there's a lot going on and, you know, is there going to be room for that? And if you are ushering that into your life, what will that look like? I do feel sometimes we can tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves, especially because we're moving into, you know, Valentine's Day. But some of you can be missing a person of the past and there can be that thought process of it. Um, some of you also are feeling a little bit guarded at the moment. I do feel a little dissipate as we move into the month. But initially, I do see you to be a little bit standoffish and really casting a critical eye on it. I do feel as we reach the... Um, <clears throat> the full moon in Leo towards mid-month. I am seeing that there could be a turning point, but you could really be casting a critical eye on it and any emotional blockages that have been holding you back from a value system, I see you actually directly dealing with them and starting to go back to that old version of self, really shining bright like a diamond. I do feel at a foundation, there are a lot of things that are changing, but I feel ultimately with your movement forward, um, you want to know that 
<clears throat> are you prepared and be that person's willing to work with you i do feel overall for a lot of you that there is this feeling almost like yesteryears was all the beautiful times and and i'm really seeing for some of you you could directly have communication with the blast from the past or really be having this feeling that the person um, that really has your heart is somebody of the past so at the moment i feel it is a psychological energy that you're going through but as soon as you do move through that i do feel like the laws of attraction you are attracting people in but again the clarifiers are saying the same psychologically yes from a manifestation point we do need to go into that pluto energy we had venus retrograde there and it's about looking at it understanding it but emotionally coming to terms with it and, and then as soon as you do that's when the movement comes but i do feel this blast from the past is directly coming back for many of you we're going to have a look at couples okay couples um both of you may have been extremely busy and i do see that um this could either be your schedule it may be the dynamic of what's going on or even really creating some sense of space i do feel this notion that you're returning to um that of who you were prior to connecting it and, and that can be again finding a sense of self I do feel some of you, you, you are very much missing each other, but you are requiring a little bit of space at the moment. Some of you um, do have some other personal things going on that you're directly meditating upon at this point, And it can be relating to a person potentially that have passed over. It's something quite large. Um, the way it's shown in my mind is that whatever this is, it's very personal to you. And you're, it, it's not personal in a sense that you're not happy with this person. It feels more, it's an internalization of needing some direct peace, maybe having to get into a new routine, um, you know, and really readjusting to this new way of living. I do feel you have really been having a lot on your plate at the moment, and especially at home, you know, if there has been conflict, it has been causing you to feel quite fatigued and foggy. I do feel as we move forward, there can be a brand new beginning, but whatever you're trying to achieve at this point, especially inside this connection, it's actually taking a lot of your energy. So it's really important to keep that communication open. Within the first week, you still can find that the communication factor can be a bit iffy. Uh, but by the time we move into the second and the third week, it can even out. But we just need to be quite fluid with our commitments this month because what we can find is things can come at left field and to add the spontaneity back into the connection, it's better to directly keep quite fluid. I do feel some of you... Um, may actually be looking at you know not wanting to move not wanting to change things wanting to keep things the way they are and my guides are showing me that you can do that but at the same time try to not move into lack mentality because what they're showing me is there's almost this fear that you are going to lose everything and i feel it's it's saying the polar opposite um especially being that we have the south node in scorpio it's teaching us um within our control to do what we can but it's also teaching us to accept endings endings don't have to be bad things endings could be a pay rise it could be an increase of income so it's it's to keep quite positive but to look at the opportunities that actually are there i do feel for some of you there could be changes surrounding home and especially if you have children okay if you do have children there could be subjects coming up surrounding that circumstance and some of you also could be quite fertile this year so um, there could be a concern again relating to budget and how you're going to do that so pre-armed forewarned again i'm i'm hearing that um, my guides are showing me it's like you need to have a little bit of autonomy that's what i'm hearing i don't know why it's so strong but you know th these cycles have taken a toll on your stage okay and that's for couples and singles they really have taken a toll so to a degree it's like to get that spunk back to get that fire back um, to have that free energy it can be that you're dealing with these commitments bills uh you know just trying to get life in order and, and due to such it's like you're needing a little bit of space and i feel after all the retrogrades we had we've got this little pocket window for a couple of months where we're really integrating and trying to boss up and get things done but i do feel for your zodiac sign it's almost needing a psychological break it's like it has been quite a large transit for your zodiac sign I am saying for many of you, you can have breakthroughs um, when it does come to your finances, but I do feel it's almost like this, this notion of waiting. The steps that you take to move forward, 
um, can take you up a tier level. And I also see some of you, um, whatever you're accepting, whatever you're jumping into, um, you may need to plan those holidays because I kind of feel this is going to either get you in a way where you're either A, needing to upskill or, or you may not be able to travel as much because it can be super busy. So um, whatever you're signing on the dotted line to, if that applies to you, you know, be super cautious and really meditate and see how it's going to fit for you. Okay, those of you on the fence, <clears throat> I do feel this has... Um, you know, being really hard to come to terms with. I feel it's been something from a psychological level. It's like, you know, there's a lot of nostalgia between the both of you. I do feel to a degree um, you feel psychologically you need to let go. It can become a bit easier, especially if you've been on the fence and you've been thinking about two ways to walk this path. I do feel to a degree your heart has detached and that this is a very strong message. So this will only resonate with those of you who have really had a gut full. Um, <clears throat> it feels as though this connection no longer resonates with you. It does feel by the time we do have the moon in Leo, I, I feel you're really looking at that. And this could be a separation. This could be a direct, you know, severing of a contract and feeling that you you can't bridge the gap. I, I do feel if this has been an ongoing conflict, I do feel to a degree it was really hard to come to terms with. Uh, and, and definitely, you know, just not wanting to fight, not wanting to fight that battle anymore. Maybe feeling, you know, guilty to a degree and, and feeling really that the environment wasn't conducive with you. But looking at the situation and feeling that, you know, you really needed to get out of dodge. I feel for a long time this may have been coming and you haven't really felt yourself, but you didn't want to be the bad guy or girl, okay? Um, and that doesn't mean to say we delayed on purpose. It's just really coming through um, very res resolved to a degree, resolved that this is where it stands and very accepting to the point. For some of you, I do feel children are involved. <clears throat> for some of you, you may have stayed due to such. But again, you know, I'm sensing the theme to do with accommodation. I'm sensing, you know, money. I do feel overall is going to work out okay. So I do feel if you move forward, you're going to be able to have this ability to heal. Um, but again, you know, it's almost saying it's already known to you. So for, for those of you who this resonates, this would be more a theme that it's very much resonating with you. Which does make sense because we are moving out of Venus in shadow. And if, if that had really been nagging us, you know, we look back in astrology to around September, October, we had Mercury retrograde in Libra, which is very Venus. And collectively at a collective consciousness level, a lot of us were realizing we really needed to get more balance in our life. And I do feel pretty much from September, October last year to now this is that little tunnel we're moving through at the moment where we're having some sense of reprieve but that logic and that memory we can't wipe from our minds so to speak metaphorically so now we're very intentionally moving forward and making those decisions of what we need to do now for you guys you know this month is going to generate more income coming through i do feel you do need to be pretty cautious about how you're doing things making sure that um, you know, whatever you have committed to, you're able to adhere to. I do feel overall, even if you do have to cram to get those things done, you'll be able to do such. And, that, you know, if you are looking for an employment, this is a really good time to put the resumes out. I do feel also you're wanting to get your health back on track. And this can be, you know, a well, well-being energy. This can be getting your vitality back. I also feel some of you are considering getting a pet. Also look at the financial attribute plus your working day life because I feel it's, you know, yes, it can be a great thing, but also look at the look at the finances relating to it. See if it directly fits. I feel some of you are on the fence about it, but it is a thought process. I do see some of you knowing that with the things you were committing to, um, you're going to get into quite a routine. This can be to get more sleep. This can be to, you know, eat a balanced diet. But it does appear to be whatever you're trying to achieve, um, in some shape or form, it's teaching you about structure and routine. And this can be with the people that you mix with as well. I do see this to be quite a, um, you know, a strong frequency coming through. 
And I feel it's required with what you're doing right now. So for some of you that can relate to a job, it may be the details that you're needing to look at. And by having a routine and structure, I feel you'll be able to address it. Many of you, you know, if there has been conflict, this can be with loved ones. This can be, again, with your partnerships. You can find within the first two weeks it can ease up. And also, if you were looking for a job and you do put your resumes out, I do see many of you actually getting responses back and actually having a lot more um, ability to select what you're wanting um, had you done it later. So I do feel it's really important to get those resumes out if that's what you're looking for. For some of you, you can find the money is going to start flowing better than it has. I do feel for many of you, there might have been a lot of expenses and I see some of you actually looking at your expenses relating to social activities. I do feel overall, you know, if, you need, if you've been quite strict on yourself at work and you're wanting things to flow, over the last few weeks it probably didn't flow so well. So if you were frustrated or things weren't pear-shaped, try and be flexible with it until about the second week. And I feel as we move into that week, it can ease up. But I do see you casting a critical eye and some of you who are on the fence in the place of employment, you may be looking outside the box. And this can be doing hobbies, this can be um, potentially looking for a new job. But for many of you, it can be that you've already done such. And this is where you can actually start having that headway and leeway and change in that dynamic. I do feel overall, the cards are really showing that a, you're being really critical on yourself. And I think, you know, the, the grand thing is, and I said this to a client the other day, sometimes when we need to see that it's not just happening to us, it's always interesting to read the comments. And I feel by sharing, we can actually get some sort of insight into a comment on a video and see what that person directly is doing. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but then we can feel less alone. Nevertheless, I do feel overall Sagittarius. You are going to have a lot of growth and movement. I do feel a lot of the plans that you had last year, it's this year you're going to get the success with. So this time we had to really, you know, look at our emotional connections to the things that we wanted. I feel now that you're getting into it, casting that critical eye, um, Rome wasn't built in a day, but I do see you moving towards more spiritual freedom and passion in your everyday life. Love and light, I will see you during the month. If you haven't clicked the bell and subscribed, I'd love to see you. Come date me, as I say, on YouTube. And for 2022, we have a lot more new content. Romance reads, twin flame updates. Yes, we have the Members Hub online, so come through and join us and giveaways. Very separately, two channels being launched, as well as the Membership Hub on my website. So please click the bell. I'll see you soon. And come and join us for the lives and the super chats. Any questions, DM me.